Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I had my first Emirates business class flight experience and I cannot wait to share it with you all. We'll talk about everything from the bar, the snacks, the interiors, the leg room, the seats, the service, the movies, and of course, the menu and the food. Basically, anything and everything. So get comfortable and get your seat belt on because we're about to take off. And you do not want to miss this. The first thing we will talk about is the seat and everything it comes with. Once you get to your seat, you will find sealed in a plastic bag your blanket, headphones and a pillow. Once I'm in my seat, I like to take off my shoes and put on some socks. For this, Emirates Business Class provides a shoe storage box at the front of every seat, right under the screen. This is a feature I really loved. This is a feature I loved because when reclining the seat into bed position, I don't have to deal with shoes stuck underneath. On the partitioning wall in front of me were free magazines and on the adjacent wall there were pretty mounted silver vases with flowers. Under my windows I had two sections for extra storage. I only used one section to store my hand luggage as it was a small bag and within that one section I still had so much more space left. So if you have already filled up the overhead compartment you still have some extra storage left. Takeoff and landing, laptops need to be switched off and stowed correctly. Any mobile phones or tablets should be put into flight mode. By now, your TV screen, tray table and footrest should be folded away. Your window blind should be open and your seat in the upright position. After takeoff, it was time to check out the food and drinks menu. On the food menu, you get a choice of three starters and three main courses, including a local dish of your destination. For example, on this flight, my destination was Hong Kong. So on the menu, there were options such as Chinese egg fried rice and sauteed Asian greens. For dessert, they also offer three options. And if you're not into sweets, you can go for the cheese board that has a selection of cheese from around the world. And if all that sounds too heavy for you on the menu, there is a section that offers only light bites and hot snacks, such as French style salad or pepper steak pie with special light desserts, such as flourless chocolate cake with mango compote. If you still feel like you'd like something a little less formal, then they have a lounge menu and a lounge where you can hang out and snack on cold snacks such as poached prawns with cocktail sauce or fruit skewers or sandwiches like smoked salmon with butter and chives. The options are endless. Next, let's check out the wine and drinks menu. Emirates takes their wine selection very seriously. Some are so exclusive, you can only find them on board. Next, let's go back to the main menu and check out the soft drinks, the cocktails, and the liqueurs. On the menu, you've got soft drinks such as juices, mocktails, fizzy or carbonated drinks, and hot drinks. You also have cocktails, whiskies, cognacs, spirits, beers, and liqueurs. Aside from the drinks on the menu, provided on each seat, you will find a bottle of still Evian water, a bottle of carbonated Perrier water, some fruit juice, some canned soda, Pepsi and 7-Up to be specific, and an empty glass. What's even better is that the crew is always there to keep your drinks flowing. Let's talk about the entertainment. 
Emirates is well known for its award-winning ICE entertainment system. There is a wide selection of movies, TV shows, music, live TV programs, radio and podcasts, and games. To access the ICE entertainment system, you can use the touch screen, or you can use the remote control, or you can use the tablet provided next to your seat. Emirates Business Class boasts one of the largest screens in the sky and it is simply a joy to experience. The remote control doubles up as a gaming console. As we walk to the bar, I'd like to point out that Emirates Wi-Fi in business class is free for the Skywards members. And if you're not a member, it's free for the first 20 megabytes. The Emirates A380 lounge is beautifully lit with ambient lighting such as blue, yellow, and a bit of orange. The bar is situated in the center of the lounge. On each side of the bar are two lounge seats that can comfortably fit three to four people. The lounge can be a great place to socialize and hang out. However, I loved that at this moment that I was filming, I had the place to myself. The bar is clad in a wooden laminate finish. The countertop is a white marble-like finish with back LED lighting. This lounge can easily make you forget that you are in a plane. <laughs> there is also an entertainment screen and lots of snacks everywhere. After lounging, I got back to my seat and the crew had already prepared my seat for sleep. They added a mattress which during the flight they do for added comfort on the seat. The leg room was good enough for me. However, I'm only 5'2", so perhaps a taller person might have a different opinion. After a while, I thought I'd have a snack and I asked for some chocolates and got this cute pack of two Godiva chocolates. Emirates gives these during flight. It was soon dark and I was ready to sleep. All I had to do was recline my seat into a flat bed position, turn the lights down, and when I woke up, I was in Hong Kong. I hope you enjoyed watching my Emirates business class flight experience and learned something too. I hope to see you around on my next vlog. Don't forget to subscribe and share this in your circles. Bye!